Hello, SAC fans, and welcome to the SAC Daily Dose, coming to you from Smoky Stadium in Kodak, Tennessee, at the 2019 SAC Pilot Flying J Baseball Championship. I'm Christian Stryker, and here's your Daily Dose for Friday, April 26, 2019. Well, since we're here at the uh, Baseball Championship, let's talk baseball. The 2019 SAC Pilot Flying J Baseball Championship got underway last night with a pair of single single elimination games. The first game was between the number five seed Wingate and the number eight seed Coker. It was a pitcher's duel, and it was Wingate that came out on top three to one as they eliminated the Cobras and advanced to the double elimination portion of the tournament, where they're going to take on the number two seed Lincoln Memorial today at 345. In the second game, it was the number six seed Carson Newman versus the number seven seed Anderson. And for those of you who may remember, last year Anderson was the number eight seed, and they pulled a, the underdog role, making it all the way to the third day of the tournament. Well, this year they're looking to do just uh, the same type of thing, as they eliminated Carson Newman 9-4 to last night, and they're going to advance to play the number one seed, Newberry, today at noon. In the third game of the day today, it will feature the number three seed, Kitaba, versus the number four seed, Tusculum, and that's going to come your way at 7.30. You can find all the links to the live stats and video for tonight's games on our website at thesack.com. Prior to the start of the final game, we'll present our regular season awards, and fans can also watch those uh, via our stream on thesack.com. Uh, sticking with baseball news, there's a great story on the SAC Player of the Year and Newberry, Centerfield, Newberry Senior Outfielder Danton Hyman in the South Carolina State newspaper. Check it out at the link below to read the full article, but... Hyman is hearing impaired and is only about 30% of his hearing. He plays with hearing aids in, and thanks to his outstanding leadership, the Wolves have won their first ever SAC regular season title this season and are the number one seed in this week's tournament. This is a, a fantastic story, and I encourage you all to take a look at it. Uh, it is uh, inspiring, to say the least, and uh, it's great to see some of our student athletes and hear about their outstanding stories. Moving over to the lacrosse field, the SAC men's and women's lacrosse semifinals will face off today at Wingate's Graham Field starting with the women at 11 a.m. and then at 1.30 p.m., followed by the men's game. It's at 4.30 and 7 tonight. The 11 o'clock women's game will feature number one Queens and number five Wingate, and the 1 o'clock 1.30 game will feature number two Lenore Ryan and number three Lincoln Memorial. In the men's game at 4.30 will be number one Wingate and number four Lenore Ryan, and, the number, and at the 7 p.m. game we'll have the number two seed Kataba and the number three seed Queens. Live stats and video can be found at thesack.com. Also in lacrosse news, the latest NCAA regional rankings came out this week. On the women's side, Queens is ranked number four in the South region. And on the men's side, uh, Queens is ranked number five, and Wingate is ranked number eight in the South region. So congrats to our regionally ranked teams. Sticking with regional rankings, the men's and women's tennis rankings were released yesterday. In women's tennis, Wingate is number one, Tusculum is number three. Queens is number five, and Lenore Ryan is number eight. And on the men's side, it's Wingate at number three, Queens number six, Lenore Ryan number nine, and Anderson number ten. So congratulations to all of our ranked tennis teams. Be on the lookout as we'll have uh, the uh, men's golf and women's golf um, uh, rankings coming out very soon, as well as the bids for regionals. Uh, that's going to bring us to our favorite, favorite, the famous sports quote. And today, since we're at the baseball championship, this one is baseball-related. The team, the way a team plays as a whole determines its success. You may have the greatest bunch of individual stars in the world, but if they don't play together, the club won't be worth a dime. This quote comes from the Sultan of SWAT himself, Babe Ruth. Don't forget to check out all the action in today's lacrosse and baseball games. And also don't forget the softball championship gets underway tomorrow at 9 a.m. at Catawba. Don't want to miss those games either. That's going to do it for me here today. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.